Hey guys, welcome to Traditional Bow Hunting Wilderness Podcast. This is Jason Sankovic and we are in my new pig hunting tool we got right here. This is going to come in real handy. Um, we're going to go over this and explain it to you. Obviously, it is right now it is still January here. Everything is frozen and it's winter time. So here in Michigan, I can't take this out, put it on the water and show you. Um, you will see in some of my pig hunting videos where I use this coming up. But this is the Intex K2 Explorer. Um, even though I'm not showing you it being used on the water right now, trust me, if you just Google this boat, you will find hundreds of videos. They even use this for whitewater kayaking. They use this thing in extreme kayaking. This thing is amazing. It is actually a tandem, so you can have two people. I have another seat that I don't have blown up. I'll bring you in and show you some details of it. Uh, the takedown oar system, everything about this, but this boat... Um, is going to be pretty excellent here. You guys have seen my other videos where I did where my Intex Seahawk 2 boat that I used to cross these rivers and things like that uh, to get into some remote hunting spots. This is my new version of that because that one actually I pulled it out when I was going to bring it down there and it was got so many holes in it from dry rot up in my attic and you know it was almost seven years old and finally just done. Um, and so I bought a new one. This is not expensive. There will be a link down for it below, but this thing is just straight up amazing. And I don't have to have a kayak or a canoe on top of my car and lose that six or seven miles per gallon of gas mileage loss driving from Michigan down to Georgia or South Carolina and lose that mileage and fight with that. This thing folds up next to nothing, including yours, which we will show you. So I'm going to get out and let you take a look at this thing, but holds 400 pounds, comfortables can be adjustable seats. This thing is straight up amazing. I am so excited to use this. So let's uh, let me pop out of here right now. I got it set up. Whenever you get one of these, first thing you want to do is air it up all the way, which I just did. I just pulled it out of the box. We just got back from Georgia, got here, it, was, it arrived today, and I got it set up. Leave it blown up for about 24 hours. Like right now, I can already feel it stretching in a little bit. But you blow it up, and then you want to leave it that way, and then just keep adding air to it so it stays at the right inflation level for 24 hours or so or overnight. That way it stretches, and you never have to do it again. That way, once you blow it up and use it, it's not going to lose air on you. Too many people complain. It's the same with an air mattress. Um, you know, it's the same thing. People take, buy an air mattress, never blow it up at home and, and season it. And instead, they take that air mattress with them camping, blow it up, put it in camp, and then they go and they wake up the next morning and they're, they're sunk way down in it. If you stretch it, the first time you use it and stretch this material the right way, then it holds the air like it's supposed to for you. And these, these boats are no different. So you want to season them, which is what I'm doing right now for 24 hours. So uh, this thing has got a lot of great features. We will show you here. I'm going to steal the camera from my wife because uh, we left a tripod for this camera in Georgia. So she has been helping me. Thank you. So anyway, what we have here, we look at the box of this. This is it right here. It is an Intex Explorer 2. 10 feet, basically 10 foot long, two people. You can see you can run two seats on there. Comes with both wars and a pump. So you have that option in there. And this thing is just amazing. Holds 400 pounds of weight. Um, I don't know what the actual weight of this is, but I'm putting it under 20 pounds. But you can see it holds 400 pounds of weight. Um, super strong enhanced material formulation, I guess. Uh, but the reviews on this thing are insane in what it's capable of. And look at how little this box is that it came in. With the boat, the oars, the everything, I mean, that's not very big. It's it's pretty small, uh, you know, in size when you compare that. So this thing would take up no room. You'd fit in the trunk of your car, fit in your bed of your truck, anywhere you want to. I actually plan on storing this thing right in that plastic bin. And they give you a bag right here for it, too, that you can put it in. And the bag is a little oversized, which is nice. So you don't have to fold it a certain way and fight with it. That was a very smart decision. So the bag is actually bigger than what you need. Uh, so you can fit the oars, everything you want in there. So now when we look at this here, what you have with the boat, let me move the oar. We'll come back to that, to the paddle. Um, but they do give you a pump right here. Awesome pump. These things work fantastic. Uh, you can pump this up. Like I pumped this up with mine. I have the other one in here. I just set it up because like I said, I had that other Intex boat that died finally. This is my pump from that one. I'm going to zoom you out a little bit. Hang on. Let's do this this way. There you go. But this is the same pump as that one. It's a fast pump. It pumps both up and down. And uh, using the pump to blow this boat up, it took about 10 minutes to blow this boat up and get it set. Now I have my air one over here that I just plugged in it. I will be using throughout the night to just kind of add air as it needs it just because it's quicker and easier. But I was curious, but about 10 minute inflation time. 
And uh, what's really good about these is the amount of chambers. So you have different chambers here. You have the floor, which is filled through here, right down there. It is one chamber for the floor, which is also where you're most likely to pop. Okay, if you hit something with this and you pop this, it is most likely going to be on the floor. That doesn't matter because this whole side is another chamber right here. And this whole side is its own chamber here as well too. So you have one, two, three main chambers of this. So if you do pop this or get a hole in it, you are not going to sink. Okay, that's the beauty of Intex boats. I love the way they do that. Individual chambers. So this thing's going to hold up very well. They give me like six or seven different patches, plus I have some other patches. Um, again, a kit of my own that I built for my other boat that I have in here has all that stuff in here. And it just gets this nice little spot, so I just jam it up and it's going to just stay in there um, along with the pump. The seats, you can see the Velcro on here. These are for you to put your seats on. Your seats, the other seat is right here. I have not even inflated yet. Um, because I'm going to use this as a single, uh, we're not going to use this as a double kayak. It's going to basically be a single plus gear, but the seats have, they can mount on his Velcro. So if you're running it tandem, you would move this seat up and mount it on there. And then the other seat would mount right on here using a single, I'm mounting it right there. And then you can strap and adjust these straps into here so you can adjust how far up or down you want that backrest. Uh, very great design, very functional, uh, very simple and easy. And it also has a drain hole in the back, which is nice through there that comes out right back here. Uh, right there, you can see it. There's a drain hole there, which is a really nice feature as well, too. So if you get water in here, it's easy to drain it out. Um, and then you got some splash guards on here that uh, just kind of help keep water from rolling up and in on there. All your specs are right here. Very simple and con easy concept of a boat. Very lightweight as well, too. So for as far as carrying this in in Portage, I'm going to say that probably weighs 25 pounds. I know you can't really see what I'm doing here, but uh, 25 pounds. And because of the shape of these tubes that are here, it's real easy to get a hand under there and throw this right on your shoulder. So very easy to walk this for, you know, two or 300 yards down to water if you need to. Um, fantastic design. Now, as far as the oar goes, they give you two of these oars, plus, like I said, the pump. This is a fin right here for the back, skag. So if you're actually using it on a lake where you're going to be dealing with higher winds and things like that, and you want it to track straighter, this will actually go right onto the bottom of this. So if we flip this... You can see right here that skag just slides right into there. Um, you, uh, where I'm going, I'm not going to need to skag. Like I said, I'm going to be in, in you know backwater swamps and uh, marshes and stuff and using it for that kind of thing for pig hunting. Um, so I'm not really concerned about putting that in. I'll probably bring it with me, but for bigger water, that comes in handy. But if you, you can see the design of this here, that with that floor being there, that's where the majority, you know, that if you were to pop that floor, it would make no difference. You know, you could just patch it later because these side tubes and everything are going to keep you up. But this ki this kayak, when you watch, if you Google this, the Explorer K2, um, which again is about a $120 kayak with both oars and the pump and everything you need. It's a steel um, and it's compact. But this thing has been, I mean, there are so many people that love this thing and so many amazing videos on it and some of the craziest things they do, jumping them off of waterfalls, over rocks, off trees. I mean, this thing goes through anything you could imagine incredibly well. So I'm very, got very high hopes. And like I said, for a hundred, a little over a hundred bucks, I, I, I can't, you can't beat it. And the ability to break it down and pack it down. All right, I'm going to have Tina grab the camera again so I can show you the oars. All right, and here's that pump. Like I said, what's nice about this, too, I just put that rubber band. That's the same way I carried it in the uh, the other Intex boat. But with this, I don't have to tie it on anywhere because it's this kayak. I can just shove this right up here in the front and leave that there. And it's just going to stay there. So I have the pump with me. And the patch kit is in there. So if I hit a cypress knee or something like that that actually does poke a hole in here, I don't go down because of the double chamber, triple chamber setup. I can just simply paddle right over to shore. Um, I can patch that and I have duct tape in there, but I can patch it. And then I can also reinflate it. So I got no worries there. But now as far as a paddle, they give you, look at how compact. Here's the other ones. They give you two. But this is how compact this, this breaks down to right here breaks down to that which makes it really nice as far as for packing and putting away so if you look at this here what they do for you is your ends come off right here you pop and you get a paddle end that comes off of there 
This paddle end comes off, and this is ultra lightweight. And they give you two of these for free. And then you pop this, and that comes off, so you have that pull. And then this comes off on this side for the centerpiece. And so these are how compact that paddle breaks down to. That is amazing. That's what allows you to fit this thing in that bag, which give you a size reference for me. This bag is oversized and way bigger than you need. They do it on purpose, so you don't have to have to fight to roll that a certain way. But I can fit everything, including the two paddles and that boat, basically, in that bag. I can fit it in this. So imagine in your car or your truck, this is all the space you need to have a 400-pound rated two-person kayak um, that you can take out and use. So it's a pretty brilliant setup and it all fits in a case this size and no having to lose gas mileage, buy racks, load it up on top of your car. And when I told you earlier about carrying this thing, like I said, next to nothing. I mean, there's no weight there. Set it right on your shoulder. I mean, this is, I'm guessing 20, 25 pounds. It's, it's nothing really. And I could carry this for a couple hundred yards through the woods to get to the water, so super easy. Um, I would imagine, I haven't tried yet, but I would bet, based on the size of it, that you could also just put this right on your pack. You could actually roll this up, and I will show you when I have it all rolled up um, at the end here, once I deflate it tomorrow, because like I said, I want to season it. But when I put it away, I'll bet you could actually take this thing and put it on a backpack, along with this paddle system it folds down to next to nothing and weighs nothing. And the paddle, like I said, is pretty, pretty brilliant. Pretty simple and easy. Put together, it's for 120 bucks. I mean, you just can't, 120 bucks for all of that stuff, including the pump. And uh, so I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty stoked about this thing. Quality Intex, I've had a lot of Intex. We probably have seven or eight of their mattresses. We've probably had a dozen over the years. I had that Intex Seahawk too, which was amazing. Intex builds incredible boats, and their prices are very, very reasonable. Um, so this thing is going to be phenomenal. Now, when I get it down there and I start pig hunting out of it, as long as, uh, you know, as, long as the gator doesn't chew this thing up on me while I'm in it, then we're probably going to be just fine. I'm not worried about cypress knees, really. I'm not worried about brush, logs, stumps, any of that stuff, you know, this thing should just roll right over with no big deal. Rocks, rocks could maybe cut it, but I watched some videos of some guys doing some pretty insane kayaking in this thing and over rock cliffs and all that stuff and no problem. So I'm, I'm super excited about it. It's going to be a great addition to let me get into those places where nobody else can get to and where those pigs are. Um, when you're in in this hunt in the south, everything floods. When it floods, you lose access to it. And I don't mean flood like last year. I thought, you know, there were times I could get by in my hip boots. I couldn't. Then you thought you'd get by in your waders. You can't. There's times out there that that water can be too deep and I cannot get through it comfortably. This, game changer. Small, compact little thing. I throw this right in my Jeep Cherokee. Right here in the back end, when I need it, I pull it out. It takes me 10 minutes to blow it up, put the paddle together, and I can go to places nobody else can get to. That's what it's about. I'm going to use it for deer season. I'm going to use it for uh, pig season. This thing's just going to be amazing, and I'm pretty excited. So there you go. That is the Intex Explorer K2. And uh, again, sorry, I can't put it on the water for you right now, but it'd just be me sitting on ice because everything here is frozen. So, But I'm excited to use it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.